it happened uh, um, initially in a, in a sort of roundabout way. Um, uh, Ken Feinauer um, spoke with, with my wife, Pastor Laura Salak, and uh, Laura mentioned to Ken that, uh, that he might want to approach Blue Church, and uh, he did. He approached me, and uh, we went out to lunch. Uh, we went out to lunch and, and uh, had a wonderful discussion over um, uh, this, 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 this topic of uh, how we could help out uh, the seminary and students there who uh, are very much in debt. Uh, they can uh, graduate from seminary and, and face just an enormous uh, financial burden. So um, Ken asked uh, if it would work out here at Blue Church, if, if there was any possibility of this uh, unfolding and, and happening here at Blue Church. And I thought that, that, that there was a reasonably good possibility but I asked Ken if he would give uh, the congregation more than one option, you know, give us uh, three or four choices, uh, options that we could work with. And he uh, gave those to me. And I presented those to our, our church council. And we looked at those options, whether we wanted to give a gift of 1000 or 2000 or maybe $10,000. And the last option was to establish a Blue Church uh, Endowment Scholarship Fund. And uh, we mulled that over in our, our council, and we, we thought about that. We looked at all of the options, and I was expecting the council to go for option A, which was the $1,000 gift. And our church council president uh, looked at me, and he said, why don't we just go for option four and establish the endowment scholarship fund? And we looked around the room and there was no dissent. Everyone was shaking their head, yes, yes, let's go for the endowment scholarship fund. It was unanimous. We just rejoiced. I, 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 at that moment, I was uh, so proud to be the pastor of that group. Uh, I was just elated and when I got on the phone and uh, uh, talked with uh, Ken the next day, um, I was just so delighted. I was so happy to tell him of that, that wonderful, wonderful good news. And um, subsequent to that, um, we, we had uh, Louise Johnson from the seminary come up and address the congregation. She preached here. And when we had the formal vote of the entire congregation, the vote was unanimous. The entire congregation uh, unanimously voted to approve the uh, Blue Church uh, Scholarship, uh, Endowment Scholarship Fund. Uh, and we are very, very proud, very, very proud that we could start that. It is a $50,000 scholarship fund. We will um, make a presentation every year to the Philadelphia Seminary of $10,000 uh, over five years. And um, the council has already decided that uh, after five years, we will continue to contribute to that fund in perpetuity, and we will continue to ask members of our congregation to contribute to that fund so that it will be an ongoing responsibility of Blue Church to help those who are in need at the seminary. I think what influenced their uh, decision is the, the work of the Holy Spirit uh, within um, some, some key leaders of the church, certainly in the entire congregation, but we have some leaders that are very, very much uh, spirit-filled, and um, they, they um, speak in, in a very articulate way that um, grabs the attention of members of our congregation, and uh, they, they um, are very compelling individuals. Our church council president, Troy Cooper, is certainly a man filled with the Holy Spirit, and he saw a need there, and he uh, felt it was very important that we share our resources. Uh, we have been deeply gifted by our Lord, and Troy felt that it was important that we share those gifts with uh, others, uh, that we can reach out and bring the gospel to a larger segment of, of society, that we can empower new pastors, new lay leaders, uh, associates in ministry, those serving the church, that we can reach out. We have uh, a former council leader, uh, very, very much filled with the Holy Spirit, who for years has sought 
uh, to reach out into the community so that we're not tying our resources just to a building, but we're reaching out and using those funds. And uh, his words over several years uh, on our church council uh, very much touched my heart, um, very much moved me. And uh, when I brought uh, this uh, message to the congregation council, and uh, presented the information that uh, Ken Feinauer gave me. Uh, those, those words of this, uh, this gentleman, John Dubbs is his name, um, uh, very much uh, moved me. And the, the congregation, council, uh, those who were, who were serving when John was here, they very much remember those words as well. And uh, that, uh, that carried a lot of weight and, and, and people were moved and, and I, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, very pleased that we, we've reached this point.